The Center for Individualized Medicine, Story by Story, a video series on topics in individualized medicine at Mayo Clinic. We're going to Hilton Building going story by story, and we're going to talk about Colon Cancer Awareness Month and genetic testing that will aid in screening. Dr. Matt Ferber is going to join us from the Center for Individualized Medicine and the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology. There he is. Tell me a little more about your role with SIMS. I'm primarily a clinical molecular geneticist in the Department of Lab Medicine and okay. Pathology. Mm -hmm. Uh, the clinical part means that I really test uh, patient samples. Okay. I do some research, but it's primarily um, the clinical work that really kind of gets me going. It is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. It's yes. March. So for colon cancer, tell me a little bit about genetic testing's role. Genetic testing has become super important in a lot of different hereditary cancers. And so my passion inside the laboratory is really diagnosing hereditary colorectal cancers. Okay. And there are a number of different types that are related to extensive polyposis or non-polyposis. Okay. And there are tests that help you uh, determine which one of those might be causing that individual to be sick in the family. Tell me a little bit about the age that you consider that, and you have, you know, you have a few family members. What's kind of that cue to say, I should ask my doctor about that? Yeah, that's a really complicated question okay. because it's different for every tumor type. So we talk sure. a little bit about the polyposis-related yes. cancer. The age of onset with that cancer can be actually quite early. So we see okay. individuals that are in their teens that really need to be visited um, by their physician. Okay. And so it really depends on the family history and understanding at what age do you see the tumors within that family. Um, but then also for uh, hereditary non-polyposis related colorectal cancer, you know, we have screening guidelines that talk about okay. the number of individuals who've been affected within the family can really weigh into when and how you should be screened for colorectal cancer okay. and ultimately whether or not you should be screened for a gene mutation. Okay, and you said your passion really is with colorectal cancer screening, but when you get up in the morning and think about the future and the things you're working on today, what gets you really excited about the future of genetic testing? Well, I, I think we're, we're all arcing and excited for whole genome sequencing, where we would be able to sequence an individual's genome first before they're sick, and then sure. monitor that over time so that we can understand you know, when might they need to see a physician, or when might they need to come back in and see a, a geneticist, okay. or when might they need to be screened for any other type of disease, not just colorectal cancer. Mm -hmm. okay. What are some of the other important things to note in terms of your work? I think it's super important for people to realize that if you're 50 years or older, it's time for you to go in and have that colonoscopy, that first sure. colonoscopy. It's super important. It's not super fun. And we just all have to recognize right. that. We have to go in and have that done. Right. One of the really exciting breakthroughs, though, that we're hearing a lot more about these days is this DNA test. Right. And this is the Cologuard test. This is invented here at Mayo Clinic by one of our own physicians, Dr. David Alquist. Okay. And this is an at-home test where an, any individual who is at the screening age can provide a stool sample in their home and they package it up in a nice wow. little box, ship it out to the laboratory, okay. and that can serve as your colonoscopy. Now, there is some additional information that you need to know about that, the sensitivity and the specificity. These are issues that you can talk with with your physician and they can determine whether or not a traditional colonoscopy okay. is best or the Cologuard test could, it. could work. Terrific. Well, thank you. I'm going to jump off the floor. I appreciate your time. Oh, great. Have I'm glad day. we caught up on the elevator yeah, today. That's terrific. Great. Thanks. Serendipitous. <laughs> <laughs> The Center for Individualized Medicine, story by story, Mayo Clinic's elevator ride through patient care, education, and research.